Hello friends, my name is Paresh and you're watching Tech Dynamics. If you have been following my videos, you would be aware what entities are and what are the different types of entity relationships. I would suggest you to have a look at some of my previous videos in Tech Dynamics YouTube channel and also do subscribe to the channel so that you get updates of my latest video uploads. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about how you can configure entity mappings in Dynamics 365. So keep watching and stay tuned. In Dynamics 365, entity mapping functionality facilitates data entry for users so that you can avoid to enter same data again and again in your daily operations. Now this works when you create a related entity record from a parent entity record. Thus with the mapping, you can populate some of the related entity fields based on the parent entity record. For example, a new case is created from account entity. So the case uh, entity can be pre-populated with some of the account record fields. Now, before you do entity mapping, there are a few points that you need to consider. One source field from the parent entity can be mapped with many fields of the related entity, but the opposite is not true. Entity mapping functionality works only when a new record is created, that is before it is saved. It works when a related record is created from a parent record and not independently. Also, the source and the target fields while mapping should be of the same data type. And also the length of the target field should be at least equal or greater than the source field. Only then entity mapping will work. All right, so here we are in our Dynamics 365 environment. Let me first show you how the entity mapping works. So let's just go to accounts and look for a particular account over here, Blue Yonder Airlines, and just open the Blue Yonder Airlines account over here. For this particular account, if you go to the related um, entities and click on cases, over here, you will see that there is a case already associated with Blue Yonder Airlines account. Let's just click on add new case. So over here on the quick view form, you can see that some of the details like customer and assigned to others is already pre-populated. Uh, but if we want uh, to pre-populate some other fields like case titles, subjects, and also fill the description with some of the records from account field, we can do that by entity mapping. So let's just go ahead and see how we can do that. All right, to know how to create entity mappings, uh, let's just go to our solution, go to entities and under accounts, let's just search for a one-to-end -one relationship, which has a related entity uh, case. And over here, let's just select this uh, one-to-end relationship with um, the case entity. Now, when you open the relationship, you will find something called mappings. So click on that. Now we want to create a new uh, mapping. So let's click on new and then you will find two columns, uh, the left and the right column, which are source entity fields and the target entity fields respectively. So you need to map the source to the target. Now, just for an example, in this case, let's just map account number to let's say description of the case. So if we specify an account number in the account entity, it should uh, pre-populate the description field when we create the case from that particular account. So let's just do this mapping and click on OK. So once that is done, you can save and close. All right, so once you have published the customization, you can come back to the account record over here. And by the way, in this particular account record, uh, the account number was not visible previously. So I have actually edited the main form and included this field as well. If you want to know more about how to customize the forms, we will discuss that in upcoming videos. So for now, we have this account Blue Yonder Airlines, which also has the account number. And now if I create a new case record, because of the mapping, this account number should be available in the description field uh, of the new case that I create. So let's just go to the related records and open the cases. And over here, let's just click on add new case. And over here in the quick view form, you can see that the description field is now pre-populated with the account number. And this is because of the entity mapping that we did in the previous slides. So this is how you can perform editing um, entity mapping. And you can save a lot of time because you do not have to then 
you know enter the field values again and again on your daily tasks so why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself bye bye